Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson. In this lesson, we will learn how to perform outpainting and frame generation using DALI 2. If you recall in the previous lesson, I showed you how we can simply convert a text prompt here into an image using DALI. And if you can scroll down, you can see many examples here available. And of course, if you hover on top of it, it can show you the text prompt that has been used to generate the image. For example, if you, let's say, open this one, a computer from the 90s in the style of vapor wave. And this is basically what you get. If you scroll down, you can see as well a few other examples. A photo of a Samoy dog with its tongue out, hugging a white Siamese cat. And this is basically what you get as well. It's pretty cute. And if you can scroll down, you can see a few other examples as well. Okay. So what I would like to show you right now is I would like to show you how we can do outpainting with DALI 2. This requires a lot of imagination, a lot of creativity. So let's go ahead and play around with it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, could you please draw for me a beautiful painting of Dubai skyline showing Burj Khalifa, which is the tallest building in the world, at dawn. And let's see the AI imagination of what that looks like, or what that means. So you can see as well here another example, 3D render of a pink balloon dog in a violet room. So it's going to take a few uh, seconds. And here we go. Look at this. So you can find here, these are various imaginations, basically, of, um, of AI. Maybe, for example, let's say if I don't like this one, you can just say generate again. It's going to generate new images. And that's kind of the power of AI. If you don't like them, you can just go ahead and generate new uh, images as well using the exact same prompt. And here we go. So maybe, for example, let's say I like this one. So if you just click on it, I'm going to show you again. This is Burj Khalifa here. You can see a few, skyline, few um, skyscrapers as well. And this is kind of the skyline for Dubai as an example. Okay. So what I could do is I can go ahead and say, could you please edit this image for me? So you just click on edit. That is going to open basically the editor here. And if you scroll to the bottom, you will see a few options. What you see here is you can see add generation frame. Basically, that means that I would like to expand upon the imagination of AI on this image. So I would like, for example, to add an additional image here to the right-hand side and kind of expand upon it to create more of kind of a um, expanded view of this image. Okay, so let me show you what I mean by this. So if you click on this, basically bottom here, you will find there is a new frame that has been created for you. And you can go ahead and you can put that frame anywhere. This is going to extend this image either to the right, or if you want to add maybe additional items to the left. So let's go ahead and start with the right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick overlap here. So basically, when, when AI generates a new image here in the place of that frame, it's going to blend these two images together. So I'm going to click on it. Here we go. It's going to tell me, OK, what do you want me to write here? What do you want me to draw here for you? So what I'm going to do is maybe I'm going to mix, let's say, uh, the skyline, for example, of Dubai, as an example, along with the paintings of the pyramids, let's say, of Egypt. So let's go ahead and give it a try and see how that's going to turn out to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, please draw for me a beautiful painting of the pyramids at Giza, of, of Giza, sorry, at dawn as well. Let's go ahead and see what they're going to look like. Let's press enter. And let's see the AI imagination of these two images blended together. So let's go ahead and um, wait for it. And of course, you can use that to generate beautiful images. And I'm going to show you as well. And look at this. So what you see here is basically AI was able to generate, kind of to draw the pyramids of Giza. And you can see this is kind of the intelligent piece associated with it. First of all, of course, this has been painted out in seconds. Second, it didn't take long basically to generate. Third. You can see all the colors here blended together. It's like it's like one complete canvas, basically, of imagination. And you can see here, these have been blended together as well. And you can see some skyline has been shown as well, kind of, you know, the extension of, the, of this original image. And now you added the pyramids here. And if you don't like it, you can go ahead, click on the arrow, and that is going to generate multiple variations as well of the image. Again, pretty incredible. I've been playing around with it for, for days, and it has been uh, kind of super fascinating. Let's assume that I would like, for example, to extend the left-hand side of that image. Well, I can say, okay, please go ahead. And I let's accept that, of course. 
and let's go ahead and generate another frame here. I'm going to say, okay, let's go ahead and blend it to the left hand side. And now I would like to say the following. I would like to paint or generate beautiful painting of the Sphinx, for example, at dawn. So here we go. Let's go ahead and test it out. So now I'm adding the pyramids. Now I'm adding some, you know, I, uh, the skyline of of uh, Dubai, for example, in the United Arab Emirates. And now I'm adding as well the Sphinx associated with it too. And then I'm going to add as well additional features. I'm going to show it's going to be pretty curve. And look at this. So now you have the Sphinx as well that have been drawn. And you can go ahead and play around with it. Again, pretty incredible. It's like amazing artists who draw this for you. So I like this one. So now you have the Sphinx. Now you have the uh, Burj Khalifa here. And now you have the pyramids as well. Let's assume that maybe I would like to add, let's say, flying birds in this section here. I can say, okay, accept that. And here I would like to use the eraser here. So I'm going to click on it. And now I'm going to say, okay, please, in this area here, okay, and maybe let's create some space here. I would like to go ahead and draw for me flying birds in the sky. Okay, I don't need to, to include that. Let's go ahead and test it out. And um, let's see the uh, output. So again, what you notice here on the right-hand side, basically it's loading, it's still thinking. And um, let's see what, is, what that's gonna look like. And here we go, look at this. <laughs> so, and, and again, now you generated a uh, flying birds in the sky. So I included birds with S, that's why you will see two birds here. It's really beautiful and it's already has been blended in with the rest of the image as well. So uh, now you can basically create these beautiful paintings and perhaps you can create t-shirts out of, out of them. Maybe create, let's say, print them on mugs, for example. You can also use them as well, maybe to offer your services on Fiverr. And that's what I'm going to show you as well at the end of this unit. You can go ahead and play around with this. It's going to show you, well, these are different birds, variations of the birds as well. Again, super powerful. Okay. One last thing, again, that's going to be kind of playing around with it. Let's assume that I would like, for example, to uh, generate or add Cleopatra, for example, here. And let's see the AI imagination of what Cleopatra looks like. So I'm going to say add, again, generation frame. I'm going to add that here to the right-hand side. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it here, Cleopatra. And let's test it out and see what that what that going to look like. And you can actually do zoom out here. And... Um, Let's actually change it maybe to zoom to 50. Okay, let's first see what Cleopatra looks like. Okay, here we go. And look at this. So what you see right now is I've been able to generate, for example, here Cleopatra, and you can click accept. You can zoom in a little bit, and here we go. So now you have your beautiful painting showing multiple, basically, images blended in together beautifully. That's the power of Dali. And that's it. That's all I have for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, I strongly recommend that you go ahead, play around with it, create, you kind of use your imagination. And um, I hope you enjoyed this lesson and see you in the next one.